Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we will see the basic uh, differences between statement level and row level triggers. The first one is the statement level triggers and the second one is row level. Okay. So, the first difference is uh, as I said previously, uh, this trigger, the statement level trigger will be fired only once. Uh, irrespective of uh, how many other numbers of records that are getting affected that we saw already in the state when we wrote some small program on the statement level triggers how many ever like if the five uh, records are getting affected if five uh, number of records are getting deleted then um, we, we saw that only one record got inserted into the new table as per our uh, you know the action that we have uh, mentioned in the while creating the trigger so this trigger will uh, will be fired only once irrespective uh, of uh, the number of records records getting affected okay whereas uh, the row level uh, trigger the row level trigger uh, as we saw when six records are getting affected the same six number of records were getting inserted into the new table so this will uh, get fired this will fire to the number of uh, records getting affected sorry getting affected okay so this is the first point hope uh, you guys have understood this so statement level trigger will fire only once any number of records that get deleted or updated only one uh, only once it will get uh, fired whereas row level trigger the number of times the any num the how many uh, number of records get affected the same number of times it will get fired that's what the row level trigger will do and uh, this uh, statement uh, by default the trigger is always statement level we know that by default it's uh, always the statement level okay whereas the uh, row level we saw that uh, if you want to convert the uh, statement level trigger to the row level trigger then you you need to use this uh, for for each row in, uh, in a row so that uh, this will become a row level trigger so this is the second uh, difference third difference is uh, we saw that um, we cannot uh, use the correlational ident uh, correlational identifiers in this uh, statement level triggers so correlation identifier is nothing but as we saw the colon old and uh, colon new and all so whereas uh, here in the row level we can uh, use the correlational uh, identifiers so this is the uh, third example finally the fourth example is um, uh, if in case uh, uh, no statements uh, or no rows are getting affected then uh, by default the statement level triggers will fire only once always that is only once always uh, it will be fired fired even though when uh, even though when uh, no records uh, or no rows get uh, affected this is the fourth example whereas row level triggers will not fire at all if no records are getting uh, this is just the opposite of the statement level that uh, here no um, you know it will not get fired also no fire if uh, no rows affects okay Okay, the, so these are the basic differences between statement level and row level triggers. Uh, to just uh, brief it off, uh, the first is the trigger will get fired 
only once irrespective of any number of records that getting affected the whereas row level trigger it will fire as many uh, times uh, as the number of rows gets affected uh, the second one is by default we know the trigger will always be the statement level trigger uh, whereas the in row level trigger if you want to change the statement level trigger to the row level trigger then you need to use this for each uh, for each row statement then uh, third is uh, you can you cannot use this uh, correlation identifiers like this old and new in the statement level triggers where whereas you can use that in the new level row level then uh, finally the fourth one is uh, at least once the trigger will get fired even though when the number of rows uh, gets affected that is for example if when you say delete something and you say department is equal to some 70 or something there the uh, such kind of department itself will not exist then also this this uh, you know trigger will get fired once if it is a statement level trigger whereas when it comes to row level uh, trigger uh, if no records gets affected then no no firing will happen that is no trigger will get affected so these are the basic differences hope you have um, understood uh, if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos and thank you very much for watching